realized that it was a really cute baby name, but not necessarily a cute professional name. Seth actually played along with me with this game. Say Aaliyah's name as a baby. Aaliyah, baby girl. For graduation. I'm so proud of you, Aaliyah. At a job interview. Aaliyah, you are the most intelligent, driven, motivated individual we have ever encountered. <laughs> uh, when can you start? Perfect. Hey guys, my name is Shayla. Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, I to vlog about pregnancy. I vlog about mom stuff now that I'm a mom. I'm like kind of a minimalist. I like to do things really naturally. So if you're into that, please subscribe. This video I want to make called Names We Love But Didn't Use. Because I watched these a ton when I was pregnant. And I have a list of like 40 baby names. The names that I like obviously are for a girl because that's what we had. They're like gritty names. Like most of them gender neutral. I feel like most girls have like a list of names that they have on their phone that they like for someday when they have a baby. I have a list from second grade. I think it's just because my name is Shayla. Kind of a weird name, but it's kind of unique. I thought that naming a baby would be so simple. Oh, this is no big deal. I've thought about this my entire life. Well, you have to agree on it with someone else. Right, Seth? Yeah. Yeah. So I'd be like, oh my gosh, this is it. This is the name. Seth, what do you think? Ew. In two seconds, you would shoot it down. <laughs> okay. I started prepping him. I'm like, okay. Now I really like this name. Consider it for a second before you just shoot it down. Okay, after all of that intro, let's get into the names. If you go to my blog, it'll tell you the meaning of all these names, and that link will be below, but I'm just gonna tell you kind of like what we liked about it. The first name is Beck. There was a Netflix show, You, and I think her last name was Beck. I don't even think it was her first name, but I thought it was such a cute name for a girl, but I didn't know if it could just be Beck, so I was like, would it be Beckham? Becca, which I didn't super like. Easton, kind of. A boy name. Well, they are all boy names, but I thought Easton could be a girl name. I thought between East and West, I, I'm like a West Coast person. I was like, maybe Weston, but Weston felt too much like a boy name. Afy. Afy's a name that we made up, and I freaking love it. I looked it up to find like the definition. They're like, what is Afy? The cutest name ever. A lot of the names that I would come up with, I realized that it was a really cute baby name, but not necessarily a cute professional name. Seth actually played along with me with this game. Actually here, you don't even need to move Seth, but do you wanna play? Say Aaliyah's name as a baby. Aaliyah, baby girl. Scolding a toddler. Aaliyah, knock it off. <laughs> For graduation. I'm so proud of you, Aaliyah. There you go. Her boyfriend. Beat it. What her boyfriend <laughs> would say. Oh, her boyfriend? Aaliyah, you're taking too long, let's go. At a job interview. Aaliyah, you are the most intelligent, driven, motivated individual we have ever encountered. <laughs> uh, when can you start? Perfect. And then grandma. Like a, a grandma, Aaliyah? Yeah. By that time, she'll be Gma AJ. Oh, okay. You're Thanks welcome. for playing. You're welcome. So that's literally what we did. Millie Lynn was the name. So then that was it. Then like halfway through my pregnancy, he's like, nah, I don't really feel in Millie Lynn anymore. What? We're back to square one and we had to start the whole process over again. Mason, I spelled with a Y. I think that's just a super cute girl's name. It's soft, but it's still like strong. Bricklayer, Mason. Uh, Billy. I think Billy was just kind of a play on Millie. Jane, love it. Simple, minimalist, kind of professional, kind of like traditional things to consider before you name your baby. You have to think about the initials and make sure that it doesn't spell a bad word. And then think about what it rhymes with because I don't even know if recess is a thing still, but if it is, kids at recess are ruthless. And then the last thing was syllables. Oh, she puked on herself. Ooh, nice. <laughs> We didn't follow this rule because I didn't really know it was a rule, but basically you want first, middle, and last name to all have different syllables. Sarah has two syllables, Jane has one syllable, and then Anderson, that would be a good name. Romy, Romy is one of my top picks still. You could nickname her Rome. I think I like it because it kind of sounds travelery because I traveled full time for a long time. Jude, I loved Jude. I felt like Jude was just a, I don't know. I just thought Jude was super cute, but Seth was like, but then people are gonna call her Judy, which is my grandma's name. So that wouldn't have been terrible, but he didn't like that as the nickname. Charlie, and you do it with a Y. So it's like feminine, but it's still like a boy name. I think the number one thing that I would recommend if you're trying to come up with a name is don't tell anyone. Just keep it to yourself until you have it narrowed down. It's hard enough agreeing with your partner and then you ask your mom and your mom's like, oh, my cousin's ex-wife is named that. And you're like, okay. You'd like come to them with this name and you're like, this is it, this is the name. Mm, I don't know, I'm not asking your opinion. I'm telling you this is the name. So just 
hold off on telling sharing it with anybody that's what i'd recommend tatum obviously channing tatum but i think tatum in like solo is cute but i think you couldn't name a baby tatum all the parents would be like oh like channing tatum and all the kids would be like who's that You'd be like just a super attractive actor oh yeah but not as attractive as my fiance bay that's right. That's right. Win. I think Win is again just a super minimalistic. They'd probably be called Winnie. And I don't know that I like that. Indie, cool hipster, travely, interesting indie. What it meant was either a short for Indiana or short for independent. I wrote independent on the blog because that's way cooler. And there's an app called Baby Name. It's like the Tinder of baby names. You connect with your partner on the app and you swipe left for, or whatever way it is. Whatever way it is, that's how Seth and I met. Swipe right if you like it, swipe left if you don't. And then if you and your partner both swipe right, it says, hey, you guys both like this name. We didn't choose anything from there, but Drew, the cutest for a girl. Seth's brother's name is Drew, so I was like, okay, how can you make this more feminine? And you spell it D-R-U-E, which apparently is trendy right now. When I looked it up, it was like, Drew, D-R-U-E, super popular. What? Adley? Adley did not come up in the search either. I met a girl on an airplane named Adley. Added it to my little baby list on my phone. Okay, this one has like three different variations. So you've got Emerson, Emery, or Emmy. And they could be full names or nicknames, but I just think those are super strong, but also like soft and feminine. Esther with the nickname Esty. I saw this on a video. I don't even remember what movie we were watching. Everyone called her Esty, and it's because her full name was Esther. And I thought that was adorable. Elizabeth, strong traditional name with like a million nicknames. You could do Eli, you could do Liz, you could do Beth. I'm like big into when I choose a name, I need to know the nickname. And Seth is like, the nickname just comes. You don't have to choose it to choose a name. Yes, we do. Okay, so we liked Millie. We liked Aaliyah. So then we were like, what about Malia? And then we just didn't choose that. It's like a Hawaiian name. Logan, also trending. Logan was a boy name that I thought would be cute as a girl name, and then you could call her Lo. Reese, another boy name for a girl, either with an S or a C. I like the S better. Reese was like one of our top names, wasn't it? For a little while? Yeah. Thea, Seth loved Theo. I love Thea. And I didn't know if we could just do Thea or if we had to do Theodora. I said Theodora to my sister. Oh, Dora the Explorer. And I was like, no, not Dora, Thea. Theodora. <laughs> Did you just laugh at that? Yeah. This again is like a bunch of variations of the name. So Evie, Eve, Evelina, or Everly. I love Evie as a nickname. So then I was trying to think of like the long forms that it could be. So that's why Evelina and Everly. Blake, there's Blake Lee, but I don't really like that as much. I just think Blake for a girl name is super cute. Nora, which I learned means woman of honor. Camille came up as a boy or girl name, and I kind of love Camille as a boy name. Seth said no to that, but we're not having a boy, or we didn't have a boy, so it doesn't matter. And then you call her Cami. Vera, like a sharp, strong name, but it's soft with the A at the end. Hallie, kind of a basic name, but I thought that that was super cute. Dylan, I wanted to spell it that D-Y-L-N-N, -N, just to give it more of a feminine Dylan. Lennox, so cool, it's like edgy. But Seth was like, isn't there a copy maker machine that's Lennox? And he's right, there is. Harriet, in Minnesota we have a thousand lakes. Lake Harriet is one of them. And he'd probably end name her Harry and I wasn't super into that. Freya, this was Seth's name. I almost didn't even put it on this list. Yeah, I don't even, I don't like the name Freya. It reminds me of Frida, which is great, but I just, that's all I could think about when I saw Freya. And then Aaliyah, which can be spelt a million different ways and literally kept me up all night long. Aaliyah was Seth's top pick. He loved it and I loved the sound of it. And I would talk to other pregnant women or my friends that were pregnant and they would be like, I like stay up all night thinking about what if she gets into drugs when she's in junior high? Or I sit up thinking about how to spell the name Aaliyah. It was like an R&B singer, which I didn't even know that when he first said the name Aaliyah. And she spelled it with two A's and an H at the end. And I just wanted it more simple than that, but I wanted it to be phonetic and I just like, Stressed out about it so much. And even still, after she was born, I was like, should we spell it a different way? Seth was like, just 
what are you doing? It was kind of this kind of weird video because I just like listed them off, but I hope that if you're trying to name a baby girl and you like something kind of like gender neutral and gritty, if your baby is named one of these names, comment below and let me know because I'm super curious. And if you were just so inspired by any of these names, also comment below because I want to know that I helped name your baby. Okay? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next time. Mwah. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Are you trying?